There are many ways to pray. Here is a wonderful way to pray without any words. You stretch out your hand and you know as you do so that God is holding your hand. That's a valuable, valuable, wonderful thing. When you're in the hospital, when you're facing something that you just don't know if you can do alone. I've had many people tell me that when they go to the dentist, they stretch out their hand and they have God hold their hand. When you know that you're in God's hands, everything changes. It is as if you're being comforted, as if you're like a little child, like you would would pet their head and calm their anxiety. Well, it's happening to you too, no matter what your age. You place your hand in God's hand, and you know in that minute that all is well. In Mark 8, 25, it says, Then, again, he laid his hands upon his eyes, and he looked intently and was restored and saw everything perfectly. When you think about how God gently took the hand of the blind man and led him away from the crowd, Jesus laid his hands upon the eyes of the blind man, not, not once, but twice. He ministered to the man until his eyesight was completely restored. Sometimes you may offer a hand to another too, and you might do it to lead a child or to steady an adult. When you do, you feel good about being needed, and when you do, you realize that you're part of God's plan of good. Other times, you may take the hand of another and feel less alone or uncertain, blessed by the love and the assurance that she or he has shared with you. And yet, you can move beyond the physical and envision yourself placing your hand in God's hand. And you can know that the divine touch is happening to the very depths of your soul. You place your hand in God's hand, knowing that God's healing is happening. God's guidance is occurring. And God's comfort is sweeping over you. And God's prospering power is working in you, through you and in your mind. You're transformed as you place your hand in God's hand. Why not do it right now?